What's up guys, I'm Captain Ratchet with Thunderslap Tech and in today's video we're going to be reviewing the G-Wolves Hottie. Oh man, it's cold. Alrighty, so yeah, the G-Wolves Hottie, I pre-ordered this back in September and I got it back in uh, October, I think it was last Thursday, so I think I'll have to check the calendar and make sure exactly what the date is. But I did pay the super fast shipping on it, which is ridiculously expensive. So if you're thinking about picking up this mouse, I would say you should just wait till it comes out on Amazon. It'll just be a lot cheaper. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Got this all the way from China, DHL. You have to just cut this. So when uh, you buy the Jewels Hottie, it actually does ask you if you want to bundle it together with uh, their new mouse pad, which is called the, I don't think it's called Jewels, but it's the Thor mouse pad. Um, so yeah, I, I think it comes out, out a little bit cheaper. Wow, that's a lot of packaging. I don't even know where to start. Uh, ha ha. Yes. Okay, let's just start cutting stuff. That's going to cut my finger. Let's not do that. Don't want to cut my finger because then I won't be able to game. And if I can't game, then I can't game. Okay. Let's just. Wow. Okay. I just wish packaging wasn't such a bitch. I mean, I understand why, you know, you don't want this to be easily opened just so people can't steal it so easily or it won't get damaged in transit. But it just. It's really annoying. Okay. Oh boy. Okay, cardboard. Okay, cardboard. Oh, wow. We hit the camera. We don't want to hit the camera. All right, that's G Wolves Hot Tea, Hottie. Which, by the way, I don't know what it is with uh, peripheral companies and uh, naming it after Scandinavian folklore, but the skull and the Hottie are both named after um, mythical wolves. And so, you know, there's a fun fact for you. They're like brothers or something. The skull and the hottie, they're like wolves. Oh, and here's the Thor mouse pad. Really simple packaging. <laughs> this comes in a bag. And it's sticking to my arm. I, okay. Static electricity. Dope. Look at that. Thor. Thor. I did get the extra large one. And it is. It is big. Wow. Okay. We're going to take a. We're going to make a separate video about that one. And we're just gonna get down to the G-Wolf Skull. Skull? No, not the G-Wolf Skull. G-Wolf's hot tea. The hottie. Hottie with a body. Wow, it's it's a really nice box. It, it's not really different from the Skull one. It's a pretty all right design. You know, you got G-Wolves. But something I really like about G-Wolves and which is going to be the same as the skull is that it's a type of babushka type of thing you know like a russian doll type of thing where like there's a box within a box which is always fun when you're opening up new stuff you know it's kind of annoying all right let's open this up if it wants to get open then... Alrighty, now this is a lot, a little bit different than the old box. It doesn't have any PUBG art, it just says G Wolves. So that's pretty cool. That was like the. something in Chinese. That well, was not Chinese, but. Alrighty, so let's open this up. Nice tin box. G Wolves. This is an envelope? What's in here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, so you got some warning signs, you know. Don't uh don't be doing any of these things, guys. And we have it appears to be some kind of card. Highest quality. Is this for the switch? stuff in here whoa okay this is real interesting 
this is a uh, this this is like mouse grips. Wow, they're pre-cut and everything. So I'm that's pretty cool. For the mouse itself, we actually have some uh, type of grips that you just stick on for a different feel on the mouse, and then we have extra mouse feet. Now these are the stock black PTFE ones, so they're not exactly hyperglides, but that's a way better presentation than they were on the last skull. That is actually really cool. And then here we have the mouse itself. All right. Same cable, same, you know, basic packaging here with the bag. Here's the mouse. This time, the bottom here is actually pre-placed. Uh, so before with a skull, this sticker right here, you actually had to cut it out and apply it yourself. So the fact that they did that for you is, is awesome. There's no sidewall flex on my copy. Okay, we'll do the mouse clicks later. Yeah, this is nice. Feels exactly like the Jeep Pro. Uh, let's check if there's anything extra in here. Last time there was an extra mouse cable. Hey, hey there is an extra mouse cable. So, and these switches. So these switches are actually G Wolves uh, gold switches. I'm not sure what they're called, and I don't know how to uh, solder. So I'm pretty sure these are already pre-installed. In the mouse already so I guess these are just spares I know the skull had different uh, switches and with those you could that you should definitely try to switch them with these gold switches but the Hati uh, already comes with the pre-installed switches so that's uh, pretty cool of them so <laughs> there's just so much stuff here there's so many goodies I don't know if I'm gonna be applying these mouse grips though but I think I might as well just do that just so we can tell how the mouse feels like with them Anywho guys, let's get down, take this mouse to the desktop, play around with it, and we are going to see how well this mouse is compared to everything else that we have on the market. Alrighty, so I bought the mouse uh, off X-Ray Pad, which is like the main seller where G-Wolves is currently selling their mice. Uh, I bought that for like $63.99 plus shipping. I got the fastest shipping, not the fastest because the fastest shipping is like two day and it's like $50. So I got the like next best thing. It's like, it's like around $15. So, you know, all together you add that up, it's over $75 almost uh, to buy this mouse from X-Ray Pad. But it, I would recommend that you guys buy it from Amazon because Amazon is uh, maybe not cheaper, but it's probably more convenient for you guys. Because on Amazon right now, I'm checking the listing and the mouse goes for $74.99 and that includes, you know, shipping if you have like Prime. Now we're going to do the dimension of the mouse and we're going to start off with the length of the mouse, which is 12.42 centimeters. And that's from the top of the mouse to the bottom of the mouse. Now these measurements are provided by G-Wolves because I don't have a tool to accurately uh, measure the mouse myself. I will be investing in that though in the future. Now the width of the mouse itself is from this side to this side, 5.78 centimeters. Now, so it's very similar to the G Pro wireless shape wise, but there are some small discrepancies, mainly towards the middle of the mouse, it's slightly skinnier. So from the top of the mouse, the highest point towards the bottom of the mouse, that's 3.96 centimeters. So now we're gonna start doing some ASMR clicks. Yeah, side buttons feel nice. Scroll wheel, left click.
right click not a lot of post travel and these switches are definitely better than the skull mouse wheel click pretty good dpi button yeah buttons are top tier they're definitely better than the skull at least the left and right buttons are so the mouse is actually just like the G Pro. It's a very neutral shape, kind of like a potato. So it can really suit palm grip, claw grip, and fingertip grip if you have the right uh, hand size. I can't fully palm grip it. Uh, I just prefer palm gripping something like the Extra Fi M4. So for this one, I kind of palm grip, fingertip kind of grip. Uh, now the mouse cable is actually the same one as the skull. So again, top tier mouse cable, really no need to paracord it. Obviously, maybe you want to paracord it if you want it to really feel entirely wireless, but I really don't think it's necessary. Now, according to G-Wolves, the mouse comes out to around 60 grams. And on my own weight, I got around uh, 62 grams. So it's again, about a two gram difference, but again, they probably weighed their mouse without the cable and the cable adds around two grams so we're not going to fault them for that again you're not going to be able to tell the difference between either so now these are actually the first mouse grips i've ever had for a mouse i've never even tried applying like any lizard grip tape to my mice so i don't personally think the grips are needed personally for me the matte coating on the mouse is perfect so i didn't really need them but i figured i would use them just to review the whole thing i did need help to apply them only because i was trying to do it well on camera but it wasn't that hard to apply them now the texture on the mouse grips themselves they're not really that textured it didn't really add any like extra grip i mean my 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 fingers aren't really going to be moving a lot with the mouse grips so personally i didn't feel like i needed mouse grips but if you feel like you need mouse grips the mouse grips are okay i can't I don't really have anything to compare them to so I haven't removed the mouse grip so I don't know if it really leaves a lot of adhesive or anything like that so I can't really tell how much it affects the mouse now with the grips on it did add about a gram of weight again not a big difference honestly but so if you like mouse grips it I mean it's a really nice touch from G Wolves to give us something like that when you put the grips on it doesn't really change the aesthetic of the mouse they don't look ugly like the infinity skins from final mouse but again, no RGB. Aesthetically, this mouse is not that cool. Now the mouse gates on the mouse themselves are black PTFE. They're okay. They're not that bad, honestly. They're not the best stock mouse feet. Luckily, I had some extra hyperglides in my closet. And if you want to use hyperglides for this mouse, then you're going to have to use the Intella Mouse Explorer 3.0 mouse feet. Uh, you can get hyperglide or tiger arcs or any of those. It's up to you. Now the Hottie does come with its own software. It's very similar. It, it's actually exactly the same as the Skull software. It's kind of sketchy to install the software. I have used the software before, but there's no RGB, but you know, you can change the, the bounce and all that stuff. But again, it's really kind of sketchy software. My antivirus kind of was like, hey, don't download this. But I was like, whatever. I really doubt a Chinese company will, you know, spy on us or anything like that. <laughs> Now the G-Wolves Hottie comes in a variety of colors like red and blue and uh, more colors will be coming out soon as well. So that's why I'm going to be giving away a copy of the G-Wolves Hottie, uh, the one that I used to review because I want to buy another one in red. So I'm going to be giving this one away to win that giveaway, you know, like, comment, subscribe, all the jazz details will be down below. Anywho guys, in conclusion, this mouse uh, versus the G-Pro wireless. I mean, other than the wireless part, it's still a good mouse. And if you have it pair, not pair cord it. Well, I mean, you can pair cord it, but if you have it on a mouse bungee, you're really not gonna feel that cord too much. But you know, the G4 wireless is still a really great mouse, but it's almost $150 versus the $70 on this mouse. So, you know what, it's up to you. This one's super lightweight. It's like 20 grams lighter than the uh, G Pro wireless. Anywho guys, if you're still here, I know the video is a little long. Thanks for watching. Uh, so the giveaway will be for the mouse that I'm currently reviewing since I'm going to get a different color uh, version of it. 
So, details will be down below again. Anywho, I love you, I miss you, and I wish this video wasn't so freaking long. <laughs>